Let's make some paper flowers today. I'm making a paper checkered lily out of cardstock paper. You can go ahead and get this printed and then cut through your Cricut or Silhouette cutting machine. I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut. Please like this video below and subscribe. You'll need to print both sides, front and back. You can also hand cut these for those that don't have a cutting machine. The template will be linked below the video along with the supplies. You only need two of these flowers per checkered lily, but I'm having several cut out per page. And if you are using the Cricut Silhouette or other cutting machines, make sure to do the print and cut option with the registered lines on the side. I recently got a new printer after sadly my old printer stopped working, but ever since my new printer, the lines haven't been perfectly meeting up front and back. And if you have the same problem like me, you could just fill in the sides with a similar colored marker. I did add the print bleed and it worked better on the Cricut, but on the Silhouette, it wasn't as filled in. So I'm just showing you this option to color in any areas that need it. Then you will add a little bit of white glue on the inside tabs near the center of the flower and you are overlapping the left side on top of the right side and it should help the flower pop up and if you have the same printing problem as me I made sure the back side that was off by a little bit be in the inside of the flower since the outer print is going to be more important on this flower. You will need to do this to all the tabs and bring up and do the same to the other flower the same way. When you look at it from the side, it should box up and the bottom should be perpendicular to the petals on the side. I felt hot glue made this a little too messy so I would prefer to use white glue. Next, poke holes in the center for both the flowers and get your centers cut on white or off-white paper and I added yellow marker on the rounded tips on both front and back. Then I added white glue on the straight edge of the center and glued it on this thinner floral wire stem. Then add your flower and before putting it all the way up, add a little bit of hot glue right below the center. Then I added the second flower below and add glue. But this time I crisscrossed the flower so the petals go in between the first flower. Next, I'll be cutting the leaves by hand. There is no template for this because I just take a strip of paper about three to four inches in height and cut very thin and long triangles. I like to add about four to five leaves per stem and you can do more or less. Then I floral tape the stem and go down the stem and I start adding the leaves about a couple inches apart and floral tape the rest of the stem. Then shape the flowers and bring down the flower to make it look more drooped down and curl some of the leaves. I made about six of the checkered lilies to add into my vase. I found this vase from Korea Daiso and I think it paired really well with the flowers. You could add more or less into a planter or vase and these will also pair really well with other paper flowers and a bouquet. Find the template link below the video and make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.